Hey guys, I hope everyone is doing great and you are happy and healthy and safe. Thank you so much for tuning in. For today's vlog, I'm gonna be doing a home project. I got such great response on my laundry room redesign and I just loved that you guys loved it so much. Um, so I'm super excited to share another home project. I'm gonna be redoing a space in our entryway. Um, so it's not the first thing you see right when you walk in the door, but it is in our front entry area. So I, the space that I'm gonna be redoing, I have had two hooks there um, since we moved in. And I really love the hooks, but I don't know if I love them in that spot. So I'm excited to switch it up and um, do something a little different. So I first saw this kind of design concept in an Airbnb in East Nashville a couple of years ago, and they did the painted arch with an exposed shelf. And I thought it just looked really cool. It was a really kind of cool way to accentuate the shelf and the decor on the shelf even more. Um, and then of course I've seen the painted arches pop up all over Instagram since then. I think it's a fun way to bring a little color into your home. I of course am doing it in black, but a lot of people do it with a pop of color. Um, I thought the black would contrast really nicely with all of the white and natural woods we have in our home. Um, so I'm going to be doing it in black and then I got a wood exposed shelf from Target that should be coming in a couple of days. So today I'm going to go ahead and get the hooks out of the wall, spackle and start taping off and painting. Um, I'm not great with straight lines. <laughs> I've never been very good with getting lines straight, whether it's like cutting, even if I have a ruler, like everything, it just always ends up a little wonky. So I'm a little nervous. I hope it turns out. I'm like really gonna try my hardest to be patient with it and get it perfect before I start painting because I feel like covering up matte black paint on our white walls will be a bitch if I don't get this right. So I'm gonna be very, careful with my initial design and taping and we'll see how it goes. Wish me luck, keep your fingers crossed and stay tuned for the final result. spackler or you know tips to accurately spackle I strongly advise you to look elsewhere this was like such a struggle the holes were huge and I needed these things to with the spackle to like cover the holes I don't even know if I did it right y'all know y'all know let me know in the comments if I did this right it's gonna be too late by the time I see it but Still waiting for my speckle to dry, but I'm going to start kind of laying out the initial design for the arch. Um, I obviously can't get painting until the speckle dries, but I figured I could get at least the shape up there because I've just been killing time watching speckle dry and I'm over it. <laughs> so I got a two foot shelf, so I'm going to make the base of the arch two feet wide and then um, draw the arch out from there. So I watched an IGTV video. IGTV video. I watched an IGTV of how to create the arch. I will link that in the description so you guys can learn from her and all her tips and tricks because she did a really great job and who knows how mine is going to turn out. So I advise you to check out her IGTV and I think she did a blog post as well. So I will link both in the description if you're curious how to do a little paint arch like this. Um, mine's actually going to be more of like a half circle than a full arch. Um, so I would recommend checking out her tips and tricks and I am going to get measuring. <music>
I don't have a yardstick, so I used a magazine. Um, used a straight edge to get the bottom of the arch, and then you attach a string between a nail that's nailed into the wall and a pencil, and you wanna make sure you keep it equal distance all the way across the arch. I obviously ran into some issues, but I corrected it, and that will be under the black paint once I paint, so it's not a big deal. out that blog post or IGTV to get all the tips and tricks and I'll be hanging the shelf right at the bottom of the arch. So the arch itself will kind of just like frame anything that I put on the little shelf. Um, so I'm going to start taping and then once I can finally take care of finishing up my botched spackling job, I am hopefully going to be able to paint today. If not, maybe tomorrow. Um, but that is the arch so far. I'm excited to see kind of how it starts to pull together because right now it looks ridiculous. yellow than I had hoped. It is made from pine and it just wasn't quite the wood I was hoping for. So I actually sanded it down a ton to give it a, a bit more of like a weathered feel and so it wasn't as off compared to the rest of the wood we have in our house. I started to play around with staining it and I stained what's going to go on the wall anyway but I was not loving the stain that I had available and did not want to wait until I could get some in the mail. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hang it as is and start playing around with decor and what I wanna put on. obsessed it turned out so cute i still need to get some white paint to touch up the edges but i'm super happy with how it turned out it looks super cute i'm super excited how my entry project turned out i did want to share what our entry area looks like in our house i am going to be doing a full home tour soon well not the entire house. <laughs> I'm gonna do all of downstairs as a home tour very, very soon. I feel like the downstairs we've really settled in and really kind of made it our own. And I'm really happy with everything about it. So I'm excited to share that soon, but we still have some tweaks upstairs that we're making. So I'm gonna kind of hold off and do it as two sections. And there's a lot of different aspects that went into our home. So I feel like it should be two videos. Anyways, this is our entryway. So this is right when you come into our home. Um, these are some prints I got for Sam for Valentine's Day. We're from Franklin, Tennessee, and that's where we initially met. And then obviously live in Orange County now, so it's kind of fun to just like have a piece of our history in our relationship right in our entryway. And then this light is from West Elm. I thought it was just like a really nice light to kind of accentuate the artwork right in the entry. Little Wayfair bench. Um, this honestly ended up being where most of our packages end up <laughs> until we put stuff away, which is unfortunate, but it's a great landing spot for that stuff and 
when we have company, it's a good spot for people to set their bags, whatever. So that's the entry. Then you come around to our powder room, which I just redid this recently. I shared an IGTV of the full process, but we switched out the mirror from kind of like the standard large rectangular mirror that was glued to the wall to a circular mirror. We changed out the recessed light to a pendant light. And then this whole little shelving piece here pulled together really nicely. The decals I think are so fun. I got them off of Etsy. Um, and when I post them on Instagram, a lot of people are asking about them. So I'll definitely link them below. And then last but not least, so for today's project that this whole vlog was about, I'm so happy with how it pulled together. Um, I do need to touch up the paint a little bit. There's definitely places where it kind of went past the tape, but I don't have white paint and I don't know if it'll be easy to get. I know what paint I need, but I don't know if I'll be able to order it. So that's the project for the day. Um, but I sanded, sanded down the shelf just a little bit to give it a little bit more of an unfinished feel and put up some little decor. And I think it looks super good. I think it kind of really completes our entry space. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. So thank you so much for watching this video. Jay's loves that you guys came to watch the video of her. It's all about you, Days. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you liked this video. I know you guys really were digging the laundry room project. So I hope another home project is something that you guys are excited to see from me. Let me know in the comments what you think. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and we will catch you guys on the next video.